Okay, so in this episode of the build on the experimental gliding parachute, we're going to attach the parachute canopy to the controller. So in our last video, what we did was we um, adjusted the lines here and we put these fishing swivels on. Now we're going to attach these to the parachute. And so now it's important to get each of the fishing swivels connected to the right lines. So first, um, notice again, we have the steering lines which are connected to the servo, and then we have the two support lines which are connected directly to the fiberglass board. Uh, we're just gonna lay this here towards the back. Um, now the parachute has two sides, of course. Uh, we have the, the top and the bottom, and which is the top and which is the bottom. Well, it's easy to tell uh, when we lay it down on the table, um, this part here that kind of sticks up, that's the keel. So that's on the bottom. So that's going to be facing the ground when we launch the rocket. Um, and if your lines kind of get tangled up, just kind of loosely shake them. Um, we've designed these so that um, they don't tangle very easily, but... Um, but if they do get kind of caught on each other, just kind of uh, wiggle the knot. Don't pull, because that's just going to make the knot worse. Always attack the knot. So I want to start by laying it so the bottom is facing up. Um, I've got my nose part here, and I can tell the nose because it has the foam inside, and you can feel that. Um, and we'll start by doing um, the steering lines of the parachute. Now... Um, this is in the instruction manual. We label the lines um, with numbers. So we have B A1, B A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, and A8. The the parachutes, there's two sizes. There's or there's there's two types. There's the 24 inch, which has um, seven lines down the keel, and then the 32 and the 28 inch, which are larger, have eight lines down the, the keel, and then an extra line along the leading edge on the wing. Uh, and so you might get confused about the numbering, but here's the simple way of figuring it out. So on the steering lines, we're gonna take the wing, which is the triangular part right out here, um, we're going to use the last two, whatever the last two lines are on the, on the wing, plus the very bottom line along the keel. So, so don't worry about the numbers. Just take the last two on the wing and the bottom one on the keel, and that's the steering line for that side. So... Um, so here is our controller. Um, remember, now this part right here, um, which is opposite the servo side, is kind of like the nose. So that's going to go that way. And so that way we have it oriented right. So uh, when we hook up this side, we want to hook up to the steering line on this side. So what I'm going to do uh, is grab these two lines. I'm going to open up my fishing swivel and grab those two outside ones. Put that one on. Put that one on. And then my bottom one on the keel, I'll put that one on. All right, and then I'll close this back up because I don't want to get confused. Okay, so that one's cooked up. Now I can do the same thing on the other side. So here's my other steering line. So you probably can't see this, so let me pull it over. So here's my back two steering lines. So I'm going to grab this one.
Uh, hopes to have my glasses on. And then this one. And then my keel line on this side. Okay, so I have my three lines and I'll close that one up. Okay, so now we got our, our steering lines attached. Now I'm gonna do the keel lines. I'm gonna start here on this side. So let me get that line up. So here's where I'm gonna attach. I'll open it up. So now on this one, what we recommend is just try to be consistent in the order that you put them on. So I'm gonna work from the bottom of the keel up towards the nose and then down along the wing. So when I do the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start at the, the bottom of the keel, work up and then down along the wing. Okay, so this line here, this is my first one. Then go to the next one. Next one. Okay, so I got all my keel lines and I'll just start doing all the, uh, the wing leading edge lines. So I got that side. Yeah, here's the mess. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Wait a minute. I did it right. It's like hooked up here on my servo. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna just do the last one. So this time I'm gonna slide it here and then put this down at the bottom, get it out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna work, start at the keel, work up towards the nose.
Okay, so that was all my keel lines. Now just work down the wing. This should be my last line. All right, so I got all those on. So now while I still have this one open, I'm gonna start putting the separator on. Um, so I'm gonna come in, just lay it on top, just come in and drop it on. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing for the next corner. But this one I have to open up. I'll just come in from underneath and put that on. And I'm gonna, yep, I got it right. So then I'm gonna take this from this side, I'm gonna to go to the other side. Open this one up. Come in from underneath, which is the top side. This side faces the bottom, this side faces the sky. And then finally, this one right here. All right, so now, when I lift it up, I want to inspect, and I'm looking right here at my separator. Um, so I want all the strings um, hanging below the separator, in which they are because I came in from underneath. So that's good. So that when I, when I pull down, or you know, I poke my finger in there, you see how nice that the, the strings lay on the outside of the separator like that? That's what we want to see. All right, so now at this point we are fully assembled. Um, and so in the next video we'll attach this to whatever rocket we're going to fly.